Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. We have been discussing on the topic of uh, performance culture. Taking this subject forward, I would like to give you some more perspectives. Many organizational leaders or entrepreneurs for that matter, they have all started their business mainly with an intention to make more money. There are two types of approach to any kind of a business. Uh, one is called a balanced approach. The other one is a profit focused approach. So let us understand a little bit about this and move forward in terms of the balanced approach a little more in detail. So when you say that it is a profit focused organization, that means it always believes that profit is the only motive. So most of the organization leadership uh, try to bring in only the profitability, earning money is the only motive of the business. So invariably when the business becomes only focused on making money, uh, it, in the long run it has got a difficulty in sustaining the business for very many reasons which we will discuss in detail. So what is most important uh, aspect of leadership is particularly profit leadership is keep an eye on the profitability of the company but also think about the means by which the profitability is generated. So when you say means of profitability that means there are many things the organization has to do it right in order to become more and more prosperous for every one of those uh, people who are part of this institution. So going forward, there is an approach called balanced approach. The word balanced is coming from the balanced scorecard philosophy, which Robert Kaplan has really proposed many years ago. And also the business excellence practices, which are proposed by various uh, great institutions. We will discuss that in greater detail later. I have brought about this idea of bringing in a balanced approach. So what do you mean by a balanced approach? So when you say that my organization has to make this much of money, so the leader always uh, brings in a focus only on that aspect of uh, bringing more and more wealth for the organization. With the results, the means to create wealth is ignored. So when you say that it is a balanced approach, what does this really mean is keep one eye on the result and keep another eye on the means by which the results are produced. So that means the word balanced has got many connotations and one of the connotation is keeping a balance on the result as well as the means. So what do you mean by means of producing result? An organization has got many stakeholders, for example customer. So customer is one of the most important stakeholders of a business. So keeping the customer delighted happy is a very critical aspect of any business. So that means one balance is coming from the keeping customer focus in the organization, that the organization does everything in order to ensure the value creation is happening to the customer on a consistent basis. So the other aspect of the balanced approach is there are employees who have come to, you know, make their livelihood by the organizational prosperity, their satisfaction and involvement is very critical for the business to succeed in the long run. So the other means of the business is the people who are working for the organization are energized and they are motivated and they are goal oriented and they do everything that is needed for the organization to continue to deliver value. So that is the second aspect of the balance we are talking about. The third aspect of a balance is uh, the organization is focused on processes and systems. 
So the business processes and systems are one of the main important ingredient of the organizational ability to consistently deliver the value for money to the customer. So ensuring that the organizational business processes are becoming more and more capable, they become robust and consistent so that the customer can expect a reliable kind of an output coming from the organization. So that is another aspect of the balanced approach. The other important means of an organization is to have a balance between the result and the strategy that is delivering the results. So going forward, we will discuss in greater detail what do you mean by strategy. For our immediate understanding, a strategy is nothing but making choices. There are many choices the organization makes in terms of what customer segment to cater to, what kind of a product they should have in their product portfolio, and what kind of a service delivery they must maintain. There are quite a number of choices are made by the organization. And then they implement those strategies, which are ultimately become the means to achieve the objective. There are many organizations want to achieve profitability by merely applying some forces. So you can't just apply forces and ask people to work hard and consistently produce results in the organization. There should be a balance between the strategic approach as well as the result. So that means the organization has to discover what is the vision that they have in the coming years to achieve and then what kind of goals that they have set for themselves and then they try to continue to achieve them. So the word balance has got many meaning. Of course, as we have seen quickly to recap that there is a balance between the customer focus and the result of the company as one of the means then the people focus and then the results which are coming out of that means to consistently produce results and then the processes and systems are quite effective and consistent so <clears throat> strategies and then the results are balanced and finally the organization should also be very clear there should be a balanced approach in terms of what kind of measurements are being done in the organization to drive performance. We spoke about performance culture in the previous video. When you say performance culture, if the organization wants to measure only the results, which are essentially the profits, cash flow, and then the revenue growth, order books, etc. It becomes only a result as only means of measuring the performance of the organization. There are quite a number of other measurements uh, uh, which in balanced scorecard approach they are called uh, lead indicators. So there's a concept of lag indicators and lead indicators is very important to understand. A lag indicator is the one which will be the measurement which shows the ultimate outcome of the organization meaning whether it made the sales target or whether it is achieved the profitability, cash flow, etc. They are called lag indicators. Lag means coming later. That means it's more of a post-mortem kind of a measurement. That means only all the damage is done, we will be able to measure whether we really performed or not. That is why it is called a lag indicator. A lead indicator is the one which is uh, lead means that is uh, ahead of time. It is really trying to show you whether the organization is likely to achieve its, its uh, results. A lead indicator example can be whether the deliveries are, are happening on time, whether your quality levels are at the zero defect uh, levels, and whether your company's uh, uh, absenteeism levels are pretty low. So there can be n number of such measurements uh, which are called uh, lead indicators which are giving an indication that whether we are likely to make profit or not. So an organization should have a balanced uh, approach 
in terms of measuring the results as well as measuring the lead indicators so the lead performance indicators are very important for the organization so taking a balanced approach in terms of focusing on the means uh, automatically will take care of the results as uh, mahatma gandhi said that the take care of the means the result will take care of themselves so it's extremely important the organization brings in a balanced approach a profit leader does not mean that he will only focus on profits so in order to produce consistent result for the company it is extremely important to take a balanced approach so hence any measurement that we are putting in place it is called a balanced scorecard that means it is balancing between the financial performance as well as the various means by which the financial performance can be consistently achieved i hope that uh, this particular session on balanced approach uh, for performance has given you some kind of a deeper understanding and going forward we will discover more and more in the context of performance culture thank you very much for patient listening i hope the session is useful to you look forward to see you in future sessions take care